Check this out. Look at this, baby boys. Oh, you nasty motherfucker. Told her pull up and let's vibe. Sipping on Patron, bitch, we live. Feeling like a star, nigga, high. Bitch, I'm high, yeah, yeah. Got a bad bitch, stick like Cardi B. Twerk on only fast, still below me. Got my money up, living on my dream. Smacking all these hoes, spread my energy. Say she got a man, don't feel her knees. Bad little bitch, cold, made a nigga free. What's good, everybody? I'm Brandon. Today, I'm about to do another video from Full Mount MMA. This one right here is titled 10 MMA Fighters Who Got Seriously Hurt. This is part three. I did part one and part two. Now we're going to part three. Bro, this, this is some great videos. I'm not going to lie. It's a great little series that you made, Full Mount MMA. You did a great job on this. Um, we've seen some crazy injuries. I'm talking about people getting their legs broke, arms broke, crazy shit. Feet, toes, I don't know. We're going to see even more. I'm ready to hop on into it. I hope all of y'all have a great day today. Remember, go after all of your goals and dreams. I don't care what's happening in your life. Don't lose sight of what you want. Keep staying strong. Keep being vigilant. Keep going for all of your goals and dreams. I'm trying to be a living example for you guys. You see, I'm going after all of my goals and dreams. I said, you know what? I'm going to start making music. I started making music, and that shit is getting better and better, and it's fire now. I said I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I said I'm going to keep doing reactions. I keep doing reactions. Y'all see my channel is growing. I'm literally accompl accomplishing all my goals in front of y'all. I told y'all, hey, I want to lose like 50 pounds. Bro, I lost 50 pounds. I'm in great shape. I'm, uh, I'm accomplishing all of my goals and dreams in front of all of y'all, so you guys can do it too. I'm a normal person, just like you, bro. We all are normal people. You got to just tap into who you truly are, and you can accomplish whatever you want. Let's hop into this video, though. MMA fighters are going to do anything to get the win because that's what it takes to compete at the highest level. But when two professional fighters are giving it their all, fighting for up to 25 minutes, serious injuries can happen. I'm Walker from Full Mount MMA, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at 10 fighters who got seriously hurt in MMA. If you enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when we post the next one. Also, be sure to check out our last two installments of fighters who got seriously hurt in MMA yeah, yeah. and tell us anyone you think we've missed out on. They both were great videos. Gabriel Benitez. But let's see. Recently, the UFC made their big return, holding three events in only one week. And on May 13th, we got UFC Fight Night Jacksonville, where Gabriel Benitez faced off against Omar Morales. Partway through the fight, Benitez's shin started bleeding, but he continued to fight until the match was over. After the fight, we got a better view of his shin and it wasn't pretty, with the bone even being visible. Unfortunately, he lost the fight by unanimous decision, but continuing the fight with an injury like that is still respectable. Yeah, Benitez later posted dude. pictures of his shin from during and after the fight on his Instagram and they're hard to look at. My dude, the beast, he still, con he still continues to fight. We're jumping a ways back for this next one. Back to May in 2010 when Alexander Shlomenko faced off against Jared Hess at Bellator 20 in San Antonio, Texas. Shlomenko landed a knee in the third round of the fight before following Hess to the ground, continuing to strike. When Hess tried to stand up, the ref waved off the fight and we got to see what happened to Hess's knee. The injury was only worse when we saw him sit on a stool oh. with his leg bending in a way that it definitely shouldn't be. Before you, before you sign up, I'm sorry. You saw that shit? Um, uh, someone was praying, someone was just saying, we thought, I, I would ask anybody and everybody, anybody who's watching. Can you show us the knee again? Jared Hess is an awfully, awfully good guy. And um, whoever you say a word to, try to make sure that they're not going to be able to do it. His direction, he obviously suffered a very substantial injury tonight. Uh, I hope and pray that it's an injury that he's able to come back from and get back into the cage. Or I don't think I'm going to show the injury again. Let me go back to it really quick. You guys see, you, you, did you see the way it bent? Sheesh. And we got to see what happened to Hess's knee. The injury was only worse when we saw him sit on a stool mm. with his leg bending in a way that it definitely shouldn't be. Before you, before you sign off, I'm sorry. After a bad year in 2011, Hess would be let go of by the promotion and hasn't had a professional bout since then. Hafonix vs. Daniel Magical Back in 2018, Hafonix faced off against Daniel Magical at FMMA 2, but the round didn't last that long. There was some back and forth while they were on their feet, but eventually Magical would throw a leg kick, and if you've watched our other injuries videos, you know that's where things go south. After yeah. the leg kick, he stepped back onto his leg and it crumpled beneath oh, him. Phonics continued shit. to rush him as he fell back with his leg still crumpled there, but the ref immediately waved off the fight. The ref shit. waving the fight off as quick as he did still didn't change how hard this injury oh. is to watch. After the ref called the fight, you could see the medical staff rushed over and the fans were blown away by what just happened. Jack Colshaw 
Jack Coleshaw is an amateur MMA fighter from the UK who faced off against Zach Edwards at Almighty Fighting Championship 10 back in 2018. Okay. During the fight, Coleshaw got a left hook flooring Jeez. Edwards before getting the TKO. But this injury didn't take place during the fight, it took place in the celebration. After his fight, Coleshaw jumped up on the side of the cage and when he jumped down is when the injury took place. Luckily, he didn't break anything, but doctors suspected that he blew his ACL in his right leg and twisted his kneecap. Yeah, Ultimately, I saw this it. led to him I needing rehab it. on his right leg before he'd even be able to have rehab on his left leg as well. Doctors suspected that things like fighting and running were already taxing his knees and the celebration was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, probably. I Chris saw Cyborg. It. Back in July of 2019, Chris she Cyborg least. faced off against Felicia Spencer at UFC 240 as the co-main event on the card. I wish I could change Spencer my last put name up a good Cyborg, fight against nigga. Cyborg, taking the fight all the way to a decision last name and giving dope. Cyborg her first Cyborg, cut she's nigga. ever gotten in a fight, and it was one hell of a cut. Cyborg. The cut was deep enough that you could actually see Cyborg's skull. It's bad. <laughs> I saw the mirror. I opened. I can see my skull. Yeah, yeah. it's quite deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How the fuck that happened? Um, you know, I'm a mom probably know about this cut, you know, it's, it's it's the fight, I never have a cut before, you know, it's first time, um, in the gym a little bit, but you now in the fight, you just always have the first time, you know, the first thing I was thinking at first, I don't want to stop the fight because the cut, and then I was saying, you know, I'm not going to ask you, Jason, if it's the bad cut, because Jason, the last time for, for Dos Anjos say it's no bad cut, and then it's a really bad cut, you know, but, you know, but I just think about this, continue the fight, and I don't want to just, the doctor to stop the fight. Craig Nino. For this entry, we're jumping to October in 2013, when Craig Nino faced off against Nkazi Mulo, Zulu Boy Zulu, at EFC Africa 24. It was a back and forth fight, but in the second round, Zulu Boy went for a controversial kick, which put the fight on pause. After the pause, the two went back at it until Zulu went for a massive barrage in the last round, rushing Nino with kicks. Zulu Boy ended up what? landing a head kick that broke Nino's nose moments before the fight ended, leading to this horrific nose injury. Minotauro he was Nagira. kicking hard as fuck. Back in 2011, African, Frank Mir went up against Minotauro Nogueira as the main event for UFC 140. Big Nog was a legend, holding titles in multiple promotions, but Mir managed to get a Kimura in the first round. The only problem was that Big Nog didn't tap, which ended up leading to his arm getting broken, needing screws, and a plate. Big mm. Nog didn't regret not tapping, though, as he says in an interview with Ariel Helwani. Man, you know, the decision we take when we were fighting, I, I was thinking about the winning. I really thought I was going to escape from that submission. We escaped one, I grew one, two times, and uh, I was trying to move my shoulder in to put my arm, and the same movement I did that way, he did the way back. And now I could save, save my shoulder, my elbow, my, my, my bonus in the middle. You know, the humero couldn't take the pressure, you know, he pulled strong. And it was like two, 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 Different directions, you know what I mean? I was moving that direction, he was moving that direction. And just when right in the mirror, I took a lot of pressure. Nogueira had a difficult time in the sport after that okay. fight, leading Yannick's to him inevitably crazy. retiring in 2015. Crazy. You know, I think that's that's from 2011 for now. I lost, and you know, I must have the fight I did, you know. I lost more fights than I won, you know what I mean? So it was, you know, I could have, you know, couldn't do the same performance I used to do, like, you know. Brandon Vera. Oh, Brandon damn, Vera faced beat? off against Tiago Silva at UFC 125 back in January of 2011 beat? in Las Vegas, Nevada. Tiago Silva was a man on a mission, putting on a dominant performance throughout the fight. In the last round of the fight, Silva landed some serious shots on Vera, leading to nose? this horrific nose injury which yeah, Joe Rogan compared to Rich Franklin's fight with Anderson Silva. That's the worst nose I've seen since Rich Franklin's first fight with Anderson Silva. Wow, it might even be worse than that. Yeah, that shit is that, hella crooked, my guy. Although Tiago Silva won the fight by unanimous decision, it would later be overturned to a no contest after it was found that Silva falsified his urine sample. Mmm. Marcos Reno. For this next moment, we're going back to July in 2014, when Marcos Reno faced off against Kristen Tito at Favela Combat 11 in Brazil. It was a back and forth fight throughout the first two rounds with both fighters trading blows. But everything changed when 36 seconds into the final round, the infamous ah, leg kick it. happened again. Reno went in for a leg kick, which we can hear connect, but when ah. he stepped back onto the leg, it crumpled beneath him. Ah. Luckily, Tito quickly realized what Look, happened. Look, you see the homie face. Any more strikes, but the damage was done. Unfortunately, Did see the Reno homie face? hasn't fought. That's my face, nigga. 
Look at the homie face. Yeah, when the dude he's fighting. Kick, which we can hear connect, but when he watch, steps watch. back onto the leg, it probably. Watch when they show the dude he's fighting. <laughs> Luckily, Tito. Look, you see his face. He like. Luckily, realized what happened and didn't follow up with any more strikes, Jeez. but the damage was done. Unfortunately, Reno hasn't fought since that day, but we hope he's doing well with whatever he's doing now. Michael Bisping. Finally, we get to a massive injury from Michael Bisping's bout against Vitor Belfort at UFC on FX7, Belfort vs. Bisping. The first round of the fight was mostly feeling each other out, except for an accidental eye poke from Belfort. But in the second round, Belfort oh, landed a clean head out. kick, Ooh, dropping to Bisping like before out. finishing him with punches. I'm after a like long career, Bisping out. would reveal that after his fight with Belfort, his vision in his right eye got so bad that he was barely able to pass the medical exams before a fight, and he was legally blind with that eye. I passed oh. the test just, but it was, and every time I did, the doctors were like, we don't recommend that you fight. He you probably had 20-20 vision 20, before 20 vision, he's still clinically blind. Despite all this, Bisping continued to fight professional MMA bouts until late 2017, even claiming the middleweight title. He was doing fights with a glass eye. He was fighting and won a world championship with, with one, one eye. eye. Bisping wound up retiring that after his vision insane. and his good eye started to go as well, but he's kept his career going now, commentating for the UFC and hosting his own podcast. Check this out. Look at this, baby boys. Oh, you, you know what nasty motherfucker. That's why I used to wear sunglasses, baby boy. Hold on, let's put that back in. Holy shit. Oh. It's oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the special. That, you didn't That's have to clean it all up. For our list of 10 fighters who got seriously hurt in MMA. Thank you. I'm not even gonna lie. That was nasty. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that was pretty nasty. Great video from Full Mount MMA, like always. Like I said, the other two were great. This third one is fire as well. Yeah, man. Listen, niggas are, they don't care. They get injured, they get back up. They're like, hey, let's go. I'm ready. And I understand. Like I said, I play football. I messed up my ankle before. I messed up my knee before. As soon as you heal, you get back out there, you know? So, I mean, I get it. But I don't know. The injuries just seem more severe when it comes to, like, MMA, when it comes to boxing. And you be like, fuck it, I don't care. I'm still going to fight. It's like, damn, bro. You got heart. Or you might just be insane. It's one or the other. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. Peace.